have any doubt she'll be there again this summer when we get to the trials. But this race should be between these two amazing Olympic champions. And they could not be more different. You've got one that's going to charge out like lightning. There she goes. And then you've got one that's going to come back the second half. It's a tale of two different races, two different strokes. Look at him. You can tell the height and the and the just amazing energy that Lily King gets. And then much lower, much more methodical right there with Liddy Jacoby. Lily King's out there, but you know what? Liddy Jacoby didn't let her get away at all. This is good news. If anything, for Lydia Jacoby being 13 one-hundredths of a second down, not bad at all. Jacoby right there, remember she missed making the world team last summer for the United States. King ended up taking bronze in Tokyo, fourth at the Worlds last summer in this race. Went on to win the 200 breast title, showing her versatility. She's won all three distances of the Worlds now in her career. Trying to hold off Lydia Jacoby oh, down the stretch. There she goes. There she goes. And watch Ellen up there. And but I think it's Jacoby. Jacoby will go by King and get the win. Does it here by three tenths. Ellen Strong in third, a half second off the pace. But the teenager best Lily King one more time here in Westmont. She didn't quite do it as dramatically as we've seen her. You might remember Tokyo. You might remember her high school erupting when she did it back in Tokyo and going by King and others. But it's still a thing of beauty. When you watch these two time and time again, I never get tired of watching Lily King swim. Just, well, as I said at the top of the broadcast, I think she's the greatest American breaststroker female in history. She charged out first, she's 31 flat, but as I said, Jacoby right behind her. That's not a bad position to be in when you know what you have in your back pocket to be able to charge home. What happens is she really increases her heel speed. See how quick she starts to get, and that's slow motion, guys. So once she starts to accelerate those legs, it's over. And it is amazing. And Lydia is with us. Congratulations. How good do you feel off what you did at NCAAs to kind of build yourself the rest of the summer? What are you focusing on? Yeah, it's been great. Um, I was focusing on building my walls, my pullouts, all that. So it feels really good to put that into long course practice. Um, I believe that's my fastest time since the Olympics. So I feel really good getting back into the swing of things. You know, Lydia, you, you've done it a million times swimming against the ladies, but each time it is special. And what does it mean to you to still step up against the world record holder and former Olympic champion? Yeah, I mean, it means so much. I think we have a really good um, competitive relationship. So many amazing women in that pool today and every time I race. So um, it's an honor every time. Awesome Lydia, job. Congratulations, Lydia. Thanks. Thank you so much. Lydia Jacoby, again, Last year, maybe not going the way she might have expected after that phenomenal summer of 2021 in Tokyo. But 2023 is shaping up quite nicely for the 